FPGA in the embedded applications. How can you be successful with it? Very important question. How can you leverage AI? And more important, how can you get started? I'm here with Ben Lee, he's the Chief Revenue Officer at Altera, here at the Embedded World in Germany. Welcome. Thank you. So, talk about the first part, is how can you be successful with FPGA in the embedded applications? Yeah, so uh, we're very excited to be here in the embedded world, uh, where we see a plethora of exciting innovators creating very interesting applications, leveraging FPGA. Um, our biggest news here is uh, Agile 5, which is the world's first FPGA with tensor-infused fabric right into the uh, logic. So uh, you can see here that we have uh, an early access uh, program, which is the uh, company's uh, most successful engagement uh, for a new product. And here we see on this wall uh, the first wave of products and development kits and some boards to really help kickstart uh, the development cycle of our embedded uh, applications. And can you give some examples how your clients use Azure X5 as an embedded product? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Azure 5 is uh, designed right in that uh, mid-range of FPGAs, which uh, serves a broad base of applications such as uh, robotics, uh, image processing, uh, tests and measurement, and uh, industrial control, uh, among other things, uh, including medical applications. And uh, our customers uh, fully leverage uh, their not only existing experience, but the new AI-infused fabric in the tool chain, uh, together with the help of our ecosystem partners. And can you give examples from this AI-infused? Yeah, yeah. So the AI-infused means with, with the enhanced DSP core, uh, together with a, a, a tensor blocks that are throughout the FPGA fabric. It's the world's first of its kind, and uh, together with uh, the AI tool chain, the AI suite that we're launching with the uh, support of our partners. And one big concern of most of the clients is the supply chain, how to prevent any disruptions. How do you make that happen? Yeah, supply resilience has, uh, you know, after the last couple of years, uh, we've been really looking at how can we uh, support better customers, which we understand has a minimum of 10 year life cycle that's required. So. Um, We've already previously announced the extension with our recommended products to 3035. Uh, this week uh, at this show, for our entry-level Max and Cyclone products, uh, we are extending that commitment to 2040. So embedded customers can feel very comfortable starting even new designs with Altera FPGAs. And key question, how did you lower the barrier to get started? Yeah, so uh, lowering the barrier of entry for embedded customers, particularly with AI, is very important for us. We want to make it as easy to use as possible. So one, we're launching it together with our partners uh, in the ecosystem that have development kits, tool chains, as well as uh, soundboards. Um, at the same time, this week, we are announcing free access to our world-class uh, development software called Cordis that supports our Agilus uh, E-Series. So essentially, today, you can not only get samples of Agilus 5, uh, but also go online and download right now the free Cordis software so that it's absolutely easy for our embedded customers to have a jump start in doing AI-enabled uh, embedded system designs. So just a message, get started. No, it's exciting, let's do it. Yeah, thank you, Ben. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching here from Embedded World in Germany at the Al Altera booth. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thanks.